So, welcome to week three in Introduction to Sociology. Just cruising right along here in our brand new COVID semester. So, um, we're going to be looking at chapters five and six uh, in this week. And so, let's take a look at the course book. So, we, here we have chapter five. And let's take a look at what's in here. It uh, starts off with a little bit about American values, getting can your thoughts wrapped around that. And, and essentially, what we're looking at is socialization is the process by which we transmit culture from generation to generation. It's kind of a very simplistic way of saying that. So there's socialization, like we get together and we talk, and that's socializing. But socialization is, as a concept within sociology, is the transmission of culture. So norms, values, and expectations, as I've been saying throughout this class and throughout the course book. Now, there are agents of socialization. There are parts of our society with the job of actually transmitting culture. And those include, like we see here, family, school, the economy, media, military, and the religion. And then so each one of these, as we participate in these large institutions within uh, our society, we learn how to operate in society. That's where we learn the skills and what we need to know. Now the, the course book goes a little bit into the online world and here we are with this new way of being here and interacting with it's school but it's school that's online and the kind of changes that have occurred to that and sort of the re-socialization that you've had to do. Learning to do things in a new way. Faculty have had to do that, the entire institution, you know, many parts of the world have had to find new ways to do things that the way they used to. And so a lot of us are going through that particular experience. In this chapter, the discussion has you think about, I'm having you think about COVID-19 and how you've had to rethink the way you did shopping, the way you interact with your friends, how do you socialize, how do you get school done, has work changed, all of that, to kind of discuss your personal experience of the norms changing, how things happen change. And then there's an assignment. And in the course book, the assignment goes, it talks about these socializing agents, families, and media in school and all of those and I have you look through each one of those and I have you look and give examples of two agents any one of those your family a school experience the military something in the media having you explore how that particular socializing agent impacted you so that's the assignments for chapter five now chapter six goes a little bit, like these institutions, family, the institution of family, the institution of, of, you know, schools and whatnot, and now we're getting a little smaller, we're going to look at groups, groups and organizations that you interact with, that you're a part of. It's a very, uh, very important part of our socialization and our experience of culture is that we're impacted by the groups that we were either born into or we join. So the course book goes a little bit into, uh, I have this example of a, identifying as being part of a group, such as these individuals who uh, took a picture together with all of their shirts to say, admit that they're HIV positive and part of that group. So we are going to be looking at social groups. That's the name of this idea of any uh, group of individuals with which you interact frequently. It's called a social group. Each group has its own culture. So each group that you belong to has its own norms, values, and expectations. There are also different kinds of groups. You can read about them. Your primary groups, very big in terms of your identity. Secondary groups, groups that you use, the utilitarian kind of groups, like I'm part of this group because it gives me something. I get something out of it. I join this group because I get, you know, snowmobile riding. And then we have reference groups, which are groups that we look to, we want to be a part of them, but we're not a part of them. That's the difference. We are not part of our reference groups. The reference groups are those uh, groups that we want to belong to or we want to imitate them and maybe eventually belong to them. Like say each one of you has a reference group of a career. So if you want to be a nurse someday, your reference group 
or one of your reference groups is nurses and you are going through the process right now of learning the norms, values, and expectations of what it means to be a nurse. Now, throughout the, you know, some other, um, another concept that I introduce here is the concept of McDonaldization. And McDonaldization is a, a theory that was brought up about how the workplace has become impersonalized. And this, so the workplace is a very important part of our identity, very important part of our, uh, it could be primary or secondary group. Yet, the notions of uh, the workplace changing, the modern workplace, has been somewhat dehumanized. It's called McDonaldization because McDonald's Corporation itself sort of ushered this in, this idea of focusing on efficiency, predictability, calculability, control, policy-driven things, the humanity of it is sort of missing. So as we're looking at these agents of socialization that we've encountered, we can think maybe of the times that, well, you know, it seemed like I was just a cog in the wheel or something. It lacks that personal, personal touch to it. In the quiz, I'm actually asking you to reflect on your own personal primary, secondary, and reference groups and give me some examples of those. So those are the expectations for this week. Get into those discussions, get that happening. Let's get some dialogue happening. Keep that up and uh, I'll see you in the discussion boards.